Good morning, Richard. We haven't talked since you started working here, or years ago. Good morning, Mr. Jacob. Yes, that's correct. I had my interview here, I remember. I will always thank you for giving me the opportunity to work in this amazing company back then. There's no need to thank me. According to your boss, you have done an excellent job. I'm so happy to know that. And I really hope that can help me get what I required. We'll see. You're asking for a pay raise, then. Is that correct? Yes, sir, that's correct. I sent the request last month, along with the necessary documents. Yes, I have received all your reports. I must say, I'm impressed by your performance. That's why I told you that you have done an excellent job since I am not your direct boss. Those reports help me check your performance, and they are great. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I've worked really hard since the very first day, that's for sure. All right, then, I had to ask. What are the reasons why you're asking for this salary increase? Well, I am aware of the requirements to apply for a salary increase, and I think I can meet those requirements. I am the first person to arrive at this office and the last person to leave every single day. I always try to help my colleagues, both the old and the new ones. Of course, I help them as much as I can. If you think I'm lying, you can ask any of my co workers, and I'm sure they'll confirm it to you. There's no need to do that. I have already done my research on my own, and that's true. People here in this company believe you are very helpful all the time, and that's great. Thank you, sir. I try to help as much as I can. That's how I am. I mean, I'm not looking to impress anyone, only do what I would like them to do with me. And that is admirable. I read you participated in two projects last year. What were they about? Yes, sir. In fact, I volunteered to work on the project in January last year. We had to create a new marketing plan for the next two years, and I think it was successful. I mean, we can see the results of it. The company is selling more than usual this year. Sales have increased considerably since we implemented that new plan. We had to work really hard and put in overtime. I sacrificed different things to do it. Oh. But we paid for those extra hours you worked because you got paid for your work, right? Yes, sir, I received my check. But we had to work a lot, and that's what I mean. Yes, I get it, and we really appreciate your effort. Seriously. Thank you, sir. I also had the opportunity to participate in other projects last year. We had to see how to improve the company's facilities to make the work environment better. We made changes for the staff and the rest of the people who work here, and it had positive results. Thanks to that, we now have a rest area where workers can take a break for a few minutes. This was really important because they mentioned they got too stressed during the day. We found that this helps increase the productivity of the company's employees. That's fantastic. Is there any other reason why you decided to ask for a pay raise? Well, you know, I just got married. In fact, you and the rest of the team were at my wedding, sir. Now, my wife is pregnant, we're expecting our first child. I am excited. 
Wow, congratulations. That's really good news. I am sure you two will be excellent parents. Thank you, sir. Well, that was my motivation to ask for this pay raise, but it is not the main reason. I mean, everyone has their private life, and it is not the company's business. What I mean is that it cannot be the sole reason to ask for a pay raise. It doesn't work that way. I'm happy you understand that. People come here explaining their personal problems all the time, they're going to have more children, they have to move, they have a friend or relative in the hospital. We care about our workers, of course, but we cannot give them a pay raise for those reasons. It's very different from what you've done. You have presented your performance report, you have cooperated with your colleagues, you always help your partners, and you have been working hard since the first day you started working here. That's really good. You made a company more money. You have always shown yourself committed to your work. Thank you very much, sir. I also have my certifications here. I took seminars and courses online. That's excellent, Richard. I see you've taken the initiative to improve your skills through seminars and online courses. Can you tell me more about the specific certifications and courses you've completed recently? How do you think these qualifications have contributed to your performance at the company? Certainly, Mr. Jacob. I've completed several relevant courses and obtained certifications in areas that directly benefit my role here. Last year, I completed an advanced Excel course, which has significantly improved my ability to analyze data and create reports more efficiently. This has been particularly helpful when working on marketing strategies and sales data. I also received certification in project management which has helped me better manage my time and tasks, especially when I was involved in the marketing plan project. It allowed me to coordinate and organize the team more effectively, ensuring the project's success. Furthermore, I completed a customer service training course, which improved my communication and problem-solving skills when dealing with clients and customers. This, in turn, has helped us maintain good relationships with our clients and boost sales. It's clear that you've been proactive in enhancing your skill set, and these certifications are certainly an asset to the company. Have you seen a noticeable impact from these courses on your day-to-day -day work, such as improved productivity or better results in specific projects? Absolutely, sir. These courses have directly translated into improved productivity and better results. For instance, the advanced Excel skills I acquired helped me streamline our reporting processes, resulting in more accurate and timely reports. This allowed the marketing team to make data-driven decisions, contributing to the increase in sales that I mentioned earlier. The project management certification helped me lead the team effectively during the marketing plan project, ensuring that we met our goals on time and within budget. This experience improved my ability to handle multiple tasks and coordinate with team members efficiently, not only in that project but also in my day-to-day -day responsibilities. Regarding the customer service training, it has led to more positive interactions with clients, resulting in increased customer satisfaction and loyalty. This, in turn, has positively impacted our sales and client retention. It's great to see how your commitment to personal development has directly benefited the company. You've mentioned your dedication and the extra hours you've put in. Could you elaborate on some of the specific challenges you faced in your role and how you've overcome them? It's important for us to understand the obstacles you've encountered and how you've managed to excel despite them. 
Of course, Mr. Jacob. One of the challenges I've faced is managing a high workload, especially when we have multiple projects running simultaneously. There were times when deadlines were tight, and it was necessary to maintain quality while working under pressure. To overcome this, I became more efficient in task prioritization, which allowed me to focus on the most critical aspects of each project. Additionally, teamwork and effective communication were crucial to overcoming these challenges. By collaborating closely with my colleagues and ensuring clear communication, we could work more cohesively, which significantly reduced bottlenecks and improved project execution. Furthermore, staying up to date with industry trends and technology changes has been a continuous challenge. However, by taking the initiative to enroll in relevant courses and certifications, I've been able to adapt to these changes and stay competitive in my field. Your ability to manage high workloads, prioritize tasks, and collaborate effectively is commendable. It's evident that you've developed valuable skills that are beneficial to the company. Now, looking ahead, where do you see yourself in the company in the next few years? Do you have any long-term goals or aspirations within the organization? I'm glad you asked, Mr. Jacob. I am very dedicated to this company, and my long-term goal is to continue growing within the organization. I aspire to take on more responsibilities, possibly in a leadership role, where I can contribute to the company's growth and success. I also hope to continue expanding my knowledge and skills, not only to benefit the company but to further my personal development as well. In the long run, I see myself as a valuable asset to the company, consistently delivering exceptional results and fostering a positive and collaborative work environment. It's wonderful to hear about your commitment and your long-term vision for your role within the company. We truly value dedicated employees like you. We'll carefully consider your request for a pay raise and take into account your exceptional performance and contributions to the company. Thank you, Mr. Jacob. I appreciate the opportunity to discuss this with you. You're welcome. Have a great day, Richard. You too, Mr. Jacob. Goodbye.